Homeward Bound, the Daily Devotional by Ellen G. White, Gospel to the World, February 21st. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations, and then shall the end come. Matthew 24 verse 14. Christ has given signs of his coming. He declared, he declares that we may know when he is near, even at the doors. He says of those of those who see these signs, this generation shall not pass till all things be fulfilled. These signs have appeared. Now we know of a surety that the Lord's coming is at hand. Heaven and earth shall pass away, he says, but my word shall not pass away. The exact time of the second coming of the Son of Man is God's mystery. In the prophecy of Jerusalem's destruction, Christ said, Because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. But he that endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations. And then shall the end come. This prophecy will be, will be fulfilled again. The abounding iniquity of, the, of that day finds its counterpart in the, this generation. So with predictions in regard to the preaching of the gospel. Before the fall of Jerusalem, Paul, writing by the Holy Spirit, declared that the gospel was preached to every creature which is under the heavens. Colossians chapter 1 verse 23. So now, before the coming of the Son of Man, the everlasting gospel is to be preached to every nation, kindred, tongue, and people. Revelation chapter 14 verse 6 verse 14. God hath appointed in the which he will judge the world. Acts chapter 17 verse 31. Christ, Christ tells us when that day shall be ushered in. He does not say that all the world will be converted, but that this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations, and then shall the end come. By giving the gospel to the world, it is in our power to hasten our Lord's return. We are not only to look, but, but to look for but to hasten the coming of the day of God. Second Peter chapter 3 verse 12 Had the church of Christ done her appointed work as the Lord ordained, the whole world would, bef would before this have been warned, and the Lord Jesus would have come to our earth in power and great glory. Those who watch for the Lord's coming are not waiting in idle expectancy. With vigilant watching, they combine earnest working because they know that the Lord is at the door. Their zeal is quickened to cooperate with the divine intelligence in working for the salvation of souls. Homeward bound.